I got a note from David Hershoft asking if I would uh, be willing to do an unboxing video of the Harmo Angel 12 chromatic harmonica. And um, of course I said yes. So um, here it is. The package came in the mail yesterday. So um, I suppose we could say this is an un-enveloping video since it came in a padded envelope. Uh, here is a, a nice catalog from the folks at Harmo. Uh, be sure to check out harmo.com and then the other website that I think might be associated with these guys is something called Harmonica Land. Um, if that's not the case, they are selling the Harmo instruments. Now, I'm, I'm intrigued by this model of harmonica. It's kind of been on the periphery of my radar. Um, and I didn't know, I didn't know what it was. And in fact, somebody asked me if they thought it was a good harmonica and I didn't know the answer, but we're going to find out soon here. So, uh, check out harmo.com, harmonicaland.com. Uh, harmonica land is a website that gives me a, a nice price comparison between what I normally play, which is the Suzuki SCX 48. Um, and this harmonica, the Angel 12, looks very similar. I was looking at photographs, you know, looking on... Have you heard of the internet? I was on the internet and I found pictures of the, the Angel 12. It looks very close to the Suzuki SCX 48. Um, but on this Harmonica Land website where you can purchase a few different brands of harmonicas, um, including these Harmos, the Angel 12 is about $40 cheaper uh, than, the, uh, than the Suzuki model that I normally play. Now, uh, I knew this was going to have a white case, and I think that's cool. That's very distinctive, and if I had that in my gig bag, that'd be easy to find. Um, I like that. I also know from looking at pictures that it has a, um, uh, it's a lot of bubble wrap on this. It has a white comb. So they're keeping with the, angel, the angelic theme here. We're going to see if it gets an angelic sound. Here it is, the Harmo Angel 12 Key of C. This instrument, I don't know a lot about it, but I know it has phosphor bronze reeds, and I know it comes in uh, a few different keys. Uh, five keys plus a low C. So the website says C, D, G, A, B flat, and then the low C. Now, the the far as as I understand the the C would be the highest pitch key that you get the D would be like almost as low as the low C it'd be a step above the low C you know what I mean um, I sometimes like the idea of I don't own a lot of other key harmonicas so at this price point this is um, maybe something I would consider ooh it's nice and hefty uh, it's got a nice weight to it um, as predicted, it, it comes with the polishing cloth. Uh, now, like I said, it does look very much like uh, the Suzuki's that I play. I don't have one nearby, but uh, maybe I'll grab one. Hang on. Okay, let's compare these guys. It's like... Pretty much exactly the same size. The screws look the same. The mouthpiece looks the same. Uh, the cover plates are the same shape, uh, except the Angel 12 has um, uh, this kind of flattened area that's an uh, oval shape, which reminds me of the Suzuki Sirius. So... Um, I don't think I want to compare these playing wise back to back. I just want to play this and just feel it. I'm going to be able to tell 
um, there's a there's a, a a feeling that's hard to describe. But when a harmonica is airtight, that's a that's a very desirable thing and a nice feeling. I would say the feel of playing a harmonica is is kind of higher priority than the sound itself. Um, I don't know if that makes sense, but tell me in the comments below as I play into this microphone here uh, about how you think it sounds. <laughs> The high D pops out real easy. It plays very nicely. Um, it feels like it doesn't quite play as loud as as the Suzuki's that I'm used to. But I'm I'm adjusting to this. Now, if you excuse me just a minute, I'm going to put some headphones on and dial up a backing track and um, play some more. Just test drive it some more, uh, put some reverb on the microphone, and we'll see how it holds up. We'll see how it does in the studio here. Uh, there's a couple more things I wanted to mention about this. Uh, I, I didn't have any kind of issues with windsaver valves. We have a really cold day here in Nashville, so I was impressed. I didn't try to warm it up or anything. I just took it out of the box. You saw me, and I played it. So um, uh, points for the the windsaver valves doing their job and not not giving me any trouble. Uh, the slide the slide works very nice. Um, it uh, it's not the most silent. But I've had, I got one of my harps, it's just clicky clacky. So this is, is I don't know if you can hear this, it's um, about this. Ooh, this is my noisy slide, this is my Suzuki. Uh, <laughs> that's one of my Suzuki's, I've got three or four of those. Um, so I'm not going to complain about the slide. Uh, it's it functions nicely, and uh, and the mouthpiece I found to be very comfortable. I was doing some tongue blocking, uh, and it was comfortable on my lips and tongue. I found the whole experience to be nice and ergonomic. Um, I would recommend this instrument, especially at its at its price point. I thought it played very nicely, um, and I I would encourage you to check out the other products over there at Harmo.com. Um, They've got a brass comb chromatic harmonica that is very intriguing. I talked to William Gallison once, and he told me, he says, man, if you ever get your hands on a brass comb harmonica, that's amazing. 
So, um, and he's also got a lot of diatonics over there on the website. I was browsing through this catalog that came in the package. Um, things I already mentioned, the harmonica bags and cases. Uh, there's a, a model called the Torpedo, which is optimized for overblows, a diatonic model, uh, at a very attractive price for basically a customized harmonica setup and gapped for overblows. Um, anyway, let's give a listen to the recording that I did. I'm curious, I haven't heard it myself. I've recorded it already, but I haven't heard it yet. So let's give a listen to how uh, the microphone's not gonna lie. The microphone is not gonna lie. So we're gonna hear how the Angel 12 sounds. Um, I was playing, the, the track is in E flat basically. So we'll check that out. 